Everyone, I'm at Puppy Palace with Marie Christine Champagne. Champagne in English, yeah. <laughs> and uh, how long have you run Puppy Palace for and what is it? Uh, well, it's a rescue for puppies. The name says it all. Uh, usually rescue puppies that have been abandoned in a cardboard box along the street or that kind of stuff. Uh, I bring them back to health, vaccinate them, and try to find them a uh, forever home. Yeah, fantastic. And I know you sometimes go out also and visit clients who have a dog that's uh, got a problem. It could be it's been bitten or it's got cuts or accidents, Yeah, et exactly. So I, I have a lot of meds that I can provide to poor Dominicans that cannot afford to go to the vet, so I try my best to bring the dog healthier. Uh, in some case, it needs to go to the vet, but uh, a lot of time I can uh, show them how to clean the wound or give them uh, doxy for ticks because they might have Erclia, so uh, that kind of stuff. So I actually, I just I just met you at a at a friend's place, and he has two little puppies, uh, Rottweilers that had maggots coming out of uh, uh, bite holes basically in their in their skin so uh, you know you, you teach people how to get rid of all of that and exactly the, and, the yeah. right and I do visit on those specific dogs every day uh, to clean it up the rest of the day the owner is in charge of cleaning up and uh, I provided uh, meds so that the infection, you know, can go and uh, heal yeah, them up. and hopefully they'll be healthy puppy at some point. Now, this is obviously if you're uh, taking a puppy in or any kind of rescue dog with the uh, aim to get them adopted out to good families or good people. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so. Do you want to tell me a little bit about, uh, well, is there a cost involved? If people think, gosh, I, I don't want to see more dogs out there, I'd rather take a rescue, which I've just tried actually uh, a year and a half ago, and it's turned out really good. We took a rescue dog in. Uh, so do you want to mention well, something? Well, basically, we used to send many dogs to U.S. and then uh, after that to Canada, but then there's a ban on 110 countries for rescues to go into Canada and US now. So obviously we have to find adopters on the island, which is a little bit more difficult to find uh, good adopters because I'm really picky. I just don't give a dog that I spend so much time and money and whatever on a puppy that I rescue to give it to a person that's gonna let him roam in the street and get hit by a car. So yeah. I'm really picky on adopters. Uh, in terms of fees, uh, I usually charge only like the cost of the vaccines that I've administered to the dog before he goes to uh, his forever place. So uh, we're talking like under a, a thousand pesos more or less. Well, let me encourage anybody who does contact Marie and take a dog, please look after her because I know you spend many hundreds of dollars every month on medicines and different things that you need to fix dogs up. So. Uh, Show her some love and uh, support in those situations, please. Now, Marie, can we see an example here? you got a little fella just over here. Yes, his name is Nacho. He was found in Puerto Plata. Uh, his hair is starting to grow. He had a very uh, strong case of mange. So you can see all the pink color. That's his skin, actually. But his hair is starting to grow. I have him for about... A month and a half now. Hello, Nacho. He's on special meds, and uh, once he's uh, all healthy and everything, then I will try to find him uh, mm -hmm. a good adopter. I do so. see. I'm just zooming in here. I see the hairs coming out there, but uh, he's cute all the same. <laughs> yeah, he is so, cute. Yeah. But, uh, and I over here, you got a couple other ones. Yes, uh, I have two out there. One is a tree-legged uh, blind dog, the beige one on the left. Uh, he was an abandoned dog in uh, Puerto Plata house and uh, basically I rescued him. I tried to have him adopted but it's really, really difficult to have a tree-legged blind dog get adopted so I kind of give up and say he's going to be a permanent resident. Mm -hmm. So he was okay with all the other puppies that I had before but it all gone to Canada. So he ended up on his own so I figure I went to another rescue 
and pick up Gordita, the little blonde one there, so mm -hmm. he can have his a little girlfriend to play with until I have bigger puppies to put in that pen. So right. at least you know they have a good life. They have uh, a secure place. Uh, you know uh, that it, there's no rain going in there. There's even a fan in their pen so that if it's really hot, I mm -hmm. get the fan on. So yep. they got a nice life, good food, mm -hmm. and good stuff. Uh, you know, much better than being on the street anyway. Yeah. Do you want to show us some of the other dogs? Sure. Things? Okay. Okay. Here you got some little ones. Yes. So. Hello. This is Cricket, little Chihuahua. Mm -hmm. This is Gypsy. She's about two and a half months. And this is Tyson, yeah. who's about two and a half months as well. Yeah. A much yeah. smaller breed. This is their yard. So. Aren't you just cute? Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Tyson was rescued uh, in a cardboard box. That's a little beige one. Mm -hmm. Along with two of his siblings. They had uh, pneumonia. Mm -hmm. And they were full of ticks, full of... Uh, Full of ticks, full of uh, fleas, and a uh, very bad case of uh, pneumonia. Um, he also <laughs> has um, liquid in, accumulating in his uh, internal organ. So he's on meds right now. He's not ready for adoption. He's not totally fine. He's been tested for Eritrea. So he's going to be on 30 days doxy. Mm -hmm. Uh, until everything is fine. His two siblings unfortunately passed away. Oh, I yeah. couldn't save them. But this one, uh, I call him Tyson because he's a fighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's <laughs> so, cute. <laughs> he loves yeah. to give kisses. So, um, where, did you, where did you get all your knowledge to how to um, treat dogs? and? Well, I used to uh, foster. <laughs> this is Gypsy. She was found roaming the street of Puerto Plata, and someone called me and said, can you help her? So she's really healthy, and yeah. uh, I'm looking for a forever home for her as well. Yeah. And this is... It's hard to get them up. This is Cricket. That's a little chihuahua that had a really bad case of mange. He's about five years old. He's an older boy. Uh, now his hair is growing, he's got all his vaccine, and uh, I'm looking for a forever home. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be a special family that needs to be taken care of, like a baby. He needs to be really spoiled. Yeah, very good. Well, you're an angel for the area and for all these dogs. Um, thank you very much for jumping on camera, okay. and uh, we're going to put your your phone number and your uh, other contact details to Facebook, etc., next to the video here. So if anybody needs the help from Marie, whether it's uh, you need a dog, you need uh, a dog uh, checked, then uh, please contact her and at least explain what your situation is. Exactly. It, I have yeah. one actually uh, uh, I'm going to pick up from uh, the, like, Dr. De La Cruz this afternoon. Mm -hmm. He's got a broken leg. He was hit by a car. I'm trying, I'm trying to secure funds to get him to surgery. It'll be around 30,000 pesos, which there's no way I can afford that. Mm -hmm. So I've posted on Facebook to get, try to get donations so that I can have the surgery for him. Yeah. So I'm hoping, uh, you know, people will be generous enough. No amount is too small, you know. Uh, there's another bunch of dogs over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh, please give uh, Marie some support if you want to and can. And um, again, thank you for showing me your facility here. How many dogs do you have at the back? This is Alaska. 15 over the back there as well. Yes. So uh, anyway, thank you for all your good work and uh, let's hope this video can make a difference for you. All right. Well, thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.